Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In this video, we'll be looking at the kinetic theory of matter. This theory states all matter is made up of atoms that are constantly in motion, an idea that dates back to the ancient Greek philosopher Democritus. The name itself, atom, comes from the Greek word atomos, which means indivisible, as it was thought at the time that atoms were the smallest unit of matter. In later videos discussing an atomic structure, we will see that atoms are made from smaller parts, called subatomic particles. This theory is hard to grasp, as we cannot see atoms or that they move. To give you an idea of the size of an atom, one single drop of water contains approximately 5.01 times 10 to the 21 atoms, that is, sextillions of atoms. Atoms can be thought of as small spheres. The smallest atom, hydrogen, has a radius of approximately 120 picometers. One picometer is a trillionth of a meter, so 120 picometers is equivalent to the following number. That's a lot of zeros. To put this into perspective, the length of a grain of rice is around 0.005 meters. Atoms make up molecules, which in turn make up cells in our body. For a comparison of the size of atoms, molecules, and cells, check the Learn Genetics link in the description below. Obviously, atoms cannot be seen with the naked eye. Nevertheless, modern technology, such as the scanning electron microscope, can help us visualize atoms. In this image from such a microscope from Cornell University, each dot is a molybdenum or sulfur atom. The second point in the kinetic theory of matter is that atoms are in constant motion. We will also describe the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. To help us visualize this, we will use a simulation from the FET website by the University of Boulder, Colorado, which I highly recommend. In the simulation, we see neon atoms at 14 Kelvin, which is the equivalent of negative 259 degrees Celsius. Even at this low temperature, the atoms of neon are vibrating, moving about their position. Cooling the atoms, reducing the temperature, also reduces the vibration. The vibrations get slower and slower. Although it has never been reached, it is theorized that if a system reaches negative 273.15 degrees Celsius, or zero Kelvin, called absolute zero, the atoms would stop moving or vibrating and would be still. In this simulation, you can only reach one Kelvin or negative 272 degrees Celsius. At low temperatures, neon is in the solid state. In solids, the atoms have an ordered arrangement where there is little space between the atoms. As we see, the atoms just vibrate but do not move away from their position. It is hard to imagine that solids we encounter in our daily lives, like a piece of wood or metal, are made up of atoms that are vibrating because we neither see the atoms or feel the vibration. Heating up the atoms gives more energy to the atoms and they vibrate more. There's an increase in temperature with the addition of heat to the system. If you keep heating, neon melts and becomes a liquid at negative 246 degrees Celsius. As can be seen in liquids, there is a random arrangement and the atoms can now move around past each other. There's still not a lot of space between the atoms. An everyday life example of a liquid is water. Note that some of the neon atoms have escaped the liquid. This is what we call evaporation. If you keep heating at negative 217 degrees Celsius, neon is a gas. The atoms are now moving rapidly and in random directions, and there's a lot of space between the atoms. The air we breathe is a gas and consists of different elements such as nitrogen and oxygen and different compounds such as carbon dioxide. In conclusion, in this video we have seen that all matter is made up of atoms and these atoms are in constant motion. We have also seen that the arrangement of atoms differs in each state of matter. I hope that you have found this video informative. In the description I have put links to the various resources you can use to enhance your knowledge. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new content coming out. Stay curious.